What is up kings? How's it going? You already know what it is. It is her papi, your papa. That is it. Today we are revisiting one of my favorite topics, alright? The psychology of ignoring women. <laughs> guys, guys, earlier we did talk about the power, psychology of ignoring women, right? We talk why it's so important. You guys shouldn't be giving these girls attention. You know what I mean? Especially in certain situations, because you're going to be looking stupid, bro. Stupid. All right. So in today's video, I want to visit one of one of my favorite. Mm, I don't know if I'll call it my favorite, but yo, I used to watch this show a lot, right? Uh, Fresh and Fit. You guys may know it, right? So this show lately, uh, they've been doing so. Uh, but, you know, so throughout the show, right there's a particular episode that happened this week right it went viral if you guys tuned in you may notice right you may know what i'm talking about and this episode involves a girl named asian doll that is it all right so there was a segment there where myron was talking i guess and then a couple of girls were having a snickering conversation on the side and then myron told them to literally like be quiet or something like that stop at the side conversations and then asian doll just was like he mean as fuck right and myron kind of got heated all right i'm gonna play the clip right now watch please all right what about i've you? told you this is like you know this is like the uh, fifth time i've told you that right yes, six time like I'm stop sorry. for real like stop he mean as fuck yeah it's the whole show Come yeah she's been doing it the whole show i'm not mean as fuck i just have rules simple all right good it's podcast Damn. Uh -huh. Um, what I look for in a man in the club? That's like a porching me. Hold on. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you me. I'm not mean at all. Okay, I don't care. Have you been here the whole time? Uh, no. All right then. So you don't know what was happening, I don't right? Give a fuck. Okay then. So how are you gonna come on somebody's show, not know what go down, and say, "Oh, you're mean." It don't matter. I can say what I want. Okay. Just well, you can get the fuck off the show too. I don't give a fuck. Get off the show too, man. What? Chill out, Listen, bro. No, 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 you can go. No, 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 chill, no, 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 chill, no, no, chill. No, 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 like bro, you gotta show a little bit respect on the platform. It's cool, respect. bro. Like, Chill. I say you mean. It is what it is. What the fuck you want me to say? That's you, not the truth, me, though. You mad about I said mean? You grown as hell. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well. Okay. 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 So earlier on the show, fuck. it was a little back and forth. So he was just telling her to chill because it was like five times before to like chill. Yeah. So that's why. He, okay, but I said he mean. He why he wanna er, stop the shit. <laughs> Well, because you don't know what was going on. We are on the It's good okay. though, bro. Hey, why would they piss you off? Chill, bro. It's no, all right. We all right. We good. He no, want a I moment. Mean, Get us slow. We good. Let's keep going, bro. We I all right. I want to leave. Let's keep in the bay. Don't leave, please. I won't. Please. please. Okay. Sorry. Just, just like from here on out, like please, on one at a time, because. <laughs> all right, guys. You guys seen that? Holy shit. Yo, you guys, man, when I tell you, man, you guys got to ignore women, you have to ignore them. Because look at this. Look at this. Just look at this prime example right now. You guys watch this clip, right? You watch this segment right now. Do you see what I'm talking about? It's ridiculous and it's so stupid. All right. Myron didn't really achieve anything by going off like that. And at the end of the day, he's arguing with a girl in front of like how many viewers, bro? You know what I mean? Because you guys got to realize they're doing these shows live, right? On air, right? Essentially, first things first, let's talk about it. Myron got triggered by a word where, um, when the girl said um, she, he's mean as fuck. Right? He mean as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right, she got triggered by that word. I mean, everybody's different. That could be your trigger word, whatever. But that, that's just a joke. Like if someone says you're mean, the easiest way for you to do is not even press it. And especially it's a girl. Like he's going back and forth with a girl, bro. You can see two egos come into play. Myron now is using his ego. She's using her ego. Boom, going at it. And they're looking so stupid. They're literally arguing over a word. Not mean at all. Okay, I don't care. Have you been here the whole time? Uh, no. All right then. So you don't know what was happening, I don't right? Give a fuck. Okay then. So. How are you gonna come on somebody's show, not know what go down, and say, "Oh, you're mean"? It don't matter. I can say what I want. Okay, Just well, you can get the fuck off the show too. I don't give a fuck. Get off the show too, man. Like, you know what I mean, right? And he's telling that girl she can leave. She's saying, "I don't give a fuck." All this and that, right? It's ridiculous, bro. It's really so stupid because yo, most of the conversations in your guys' day-to-day -day life, when you guys look at it this way, when you're arguing with girls, what are you really arguing about? Are you really arguing over important things, or are you arguing over silly stuff like this? Like, bro, there's so many important issues in the world. But these guys are arguing over <laughs> her calling him mean as fuck and her saying, I don't give a fuck. Like, yo, bro, like, what? This is why when I tell you guys, you guys got to ignore women. You need to ignore them not only 
pretending to ignore them just so you can get something out of them but you guys gotta ignore some things they say because if myron had just ignored her remarks he just kept them moving on she wouldn't even have gotten that attention of the day she wouldn't even have gotten that pressure like let's say myron was offended right whatever she said she called it mean as fuck the appropriate thing he would have done is just agree with her be like yeah i am baby girl so what about it you know what i mean or oh, yeah i am baby you gotta just deal with it you know what i mean or yeah so what if i am boom easy case ended instead he's trying to defend himself now look at him yeah she's been doing it the whole show i'm not mean as fuck i just have rules simple all right good it's podcast damn um what i look for in a man club ass, that's like approaching me hold on <laughs> excuse me <laughs> you me i'm not mean at all okay i don't care no i'm not du -du 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 -du. you know what i mean eh? and then he's starting to attack her and she's like standing her ground you know it looks so childish right at the end of the day guys when you guys are talking to girls you gotta like stop and think right girls are emotional creatures they react through emotion we're supposed to be logical so we need to be understanding right in situations like this we need to be thinking we know better bro we know better but why are we standing there putting that type of energy right why are you adding fuel into this nonsense you know what I mean? If he had literally ignored her, kept her going, and let's say she kept on coming back and interrupting and doing this and this, and then he can press it, he can press it on, then we'll be like, all right, that's, that makes sense. But yo, if you're looking at it from this perspective, like they're literally <laughs> two minutes of the show, they're arguing over him calling her, or her calling him um, mean as fuck, right? And then he feels that he need to prove himself, no, I'm not, da da da, whatever. And it's so funny to the point where when she says, you know, you're, you're mad when I just call you, you're mad over a word, mean as fuck. <laughs> you're mad over that word. And then she's like, you're supposed to be grown as hell. And then everybody's quiet. You know what I mean? Like, bro, you got to show a little oh, bit of yeah, respect bro. on the problem. It's, it's cool, respect. bro. Talking about shit. I say you mean. It is what it is. What the fuck you want me to say? That's you, not the truth, mean, though. You mad about I said mean? You grown as hell. <laughs> what? Yeah, well. Okay. It just doesn't look good, man. That's why I tell you guys it is very important, right? When you guys are talking to girls, it's so important. Even if they say something that triggers you, don't let it look like it affected you. Because guess what? They're gonna take, they're gonna, they're gonna take that and add on to it. You know what I mean? Once a girl knows your weakness, boom, she starts pressing it on and on, on it, right? It's best if she doesn't even know what your weakness is, bro, right? So at that point, right, if she says anything that offends you or whatever, laugh. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, take it the opposite way, right? Yeah, you hate it. It, it triggers you. Instead of getting triggered, why not accept it? Yeah, I am. Thank you. That's my nickname. My grandma told me so too. You know what I mean? It doesn't change who I am. Yeah, I was born that way. You know what I mean? Those could always be all be the replies he could have replied to her comments about me as fuck, right? But I get it. He got triggered throughout the show. But this is why it goes to say, man, <sighs> girls sometimes through situations it's best to ignore right don't keep pressing don't keep pressing man pressing you're adding on to it there's no need you don't need to add that type of energy no need to add that type of fuel bro right because you're adding attention to something unnecessary that could have been dissolved in two seconds right and that's what goes on in a lot of you guys you guys have meaningful i mean meaningless conversations with girls you have meaningless arguments with them you guys get so mad at them you get triggered over meaningless stuff when you could have just like yo tone it down right tune the dial down not even like add energy not even like you know what i mean add to it just ignore it bro you know what i mean ignoring is so powerful ignoring these women is the most powerful thing we got right so greatest asset right because yo at the end of the day bro think about it this way just think about it this way right after this whole situation right I don't know if Myra knew or not, but the girl, she has a presence. She has a social presence, right? She has a social presence. So she went on to Twitter. She tweeted her piece, and then he goes, and he's defending himself online. You see how it blew over? Something so simple just blew over because that's how it is, right? Girls, they, they have all this platform. They have all this social media. They like to go, and you know what I mean? They take things like, it's little things like this. They like to go and twist it. Everything gets ridiculous, you know what I mean? And you avoid all of that just by ignoring you. You know what I mean? There's some situations, bro. Don't even add that type of energy to it. You know what I mean? Just once you ignore it, boom, that's all it takes. You know what I'm saying? Like even the girl, she's just going to realize, yo, boom, like no, nobody's, nobody's like, you know what I mean? Adding to what I said or nobody's uh, recognizing what I said or she kind of becomes irrelevant and her points become irrelevant. And guess what? 
you x out the whole situation, you continue on with your piece, boom, boom, boom. That is the most powerful thing, right? So next time you guys are out and you feel like a girl is offending you, a girl is doing this and this, don't give her that type of energy. Don't even give her that attention. What Myra could have done is not even give her that type of attention, right? She said something, boom, just pretend like you didn't hear it. Pam, pam, let it go through this ear, come out through the other. Move on, right? Move the segment going. But instead of you addressing that you're not mean and now you're trying to defend yourself and trying to defend your action and trying to defend, like, bro, at the end of the day, yeah, we get it. This is your platform. You make the rules, that's understandable, right? Even if though they may be biased to you, they may be in favor of you, we get it, that's your platform, fine, that's okay, right? It's yours, you can do whatever you want, right? But you standing there and bickering with girls back and forth about this sort of stuff doesn't look good, man, doesn't look good at all. But this is why I always say, man, you guys have a lot of power. When it comes to females, you have so much power. And that power comes to ignoring, right? Ignoring their bullshit, ignoring all their dumb shit that comes out of their mouth, right? You have that power, right? You control that, right? You need to worry about the things you control and forget about the things you don't control, right? Because at the end of the day, you can't sit there arguing with like a two-year-old. And that's the thing, that's the way you gotta look at these girls. Some of them are like two years old, bro. The way they behave, they're so emotion, emo emotion, <laughs> they're so emotional, right? They're so unstable, emotionally unstable, bro. Like you don't even know, like sometimes you just gotta look at it like, yo, you're arguing with a seven-year-old, pretty much, right? And you wouldn't even do that, right? Like if you're talking to a seven-year-old, you wanna argue with her, because it's so stupid, and <laughs> like it's, it doesn't make any sense to go back and forth. Like could you imagine you're arguing with her about like your tea party? Like, no, you can't have your tea party. No, I'm gonna have my tea party. I said, you cannot have your tea party. No, I'm gonna have my tea party with my Barbies. No, it's cold outside, you cannot have. Uh, bro, you look so dumb. Like, you know what I'm saying, right? At the end of the day, that's what was so funny to watch, but I need you guys to realize something, right? Ignoring women works, right? The psychology of ignoring them not only applies to when you're trying to get them, but at, at the same time to social situations. Situations like when they're trying to test you, challenge you, you need to ignore it, right? Some things don't deserve attention. You gotta realize that, right? And the best way to shut them down is to ignore. That is it, right? Ignore is gonna go a long way. Ignore is powerful. Silence is powerful. Not everything deserves your attention. Not everything deserves your reaction. Not everything deserves fuel. Not everything deserves, you know what I mean? Some, some sort of like spotlight, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's the message of the day. Hope you guys resonated with it. And if you did, click the like button, subscribe. As always, puppies out. Thank you.